YouTube end cards are often overlooked, but they can definitely help build your channel and engage your audience. So today I'm gonna to show you how to create a custom end card like this. What's going on everybody? James Paul Shepard with Filmcore Digital. And if you're new to the channel, I create tutorials in DaVinci Resolve and show you how to recreate effects in Fusion. Now if that's something you like, hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you don't miss out on any future content. Well, let's get into it. Now that you're in DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna head up to effects. Click on effects and we're gonna bring in a Fusion comp. Now right click on it, change duration. We're going to change it to 10 seconds now i heard that 10 seconds is a good time to give your audience enough time to look and see what your call out is and comprehend it so that's why we're going 10 seconds all right so now that we have that we're going to go over to the fusion tab now on the fusion tab we're going to grab our background now the background could be whatever you want it to be it can be a video a still image i'm using a video that i found online for free so you can use whatever you want all right so now we're going to connect that to the media out i created the guide for the size of the box and the avatar on the callouts, click the link in the description and go ahead and download that. Now that you have that downloaded, we're going to head up to Fusion, Import, PSD. Now you want to find where you uh, saved that at. I saved it in my pictures. End screen guide. Go ahead and open that. It's going to come in like this. What you want to do is you want to take the normal out and just merge it into your background. So now you're gonna have these two boxes and we're just gonna use those to create our boxes to have the correct size. All right, so we're gonna create the first box. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bring in a background node. Go ahead and connect that into your merge. Now we're gonna, with your background selected, we're going to grab the rectangle mask. Now just go ahead and line that up. You want it to be a little bigger than your box because it's essentially going to be a background for your video we're going to change that color to white over the inspector and we're just going to bring the feather up a little bit now this is all customizable on whatever you want color size everything is customizable this is just to show you how to do it now we're going to bring in a background node again we're going to merge it in this time we're going to bring the ellipse mask in we're gonna connect that to our background and we're gonna size this down to be just a little bit bigger. All right, we're gonna to go to the background node. We're gonna go ahead and select that as a white as well. We're gonna feather this up a little bit. You can go over to your rectangle softening and just copy it from over there so you keep it consistent. All right, now we're going to take the rectangle background. We're going to copy. We're going to paste over here, and we're going to merge that in. So now we have two, but we want to bring this one over this way. So a really cool thing you can do is you can bring up guides on your viewer so you know where the center point is, and I'll show you how. So you're going to right-click, Guides, Show Guides. So it gives you a really nice outline where you can keep it lined up. So we're going to grab this rectangle, Bring it straight down. We're gonna go back to this one. We're gonna bring it down. And then we're gonna bring this one back just a little bit past. And then we're gonna go over to the other rectangle. And we're gonna bring that one just a little bit past. And then we're gonna grab our ellipse. And we're gonna bring that right in the middle. All right, so now that you have those lined up and you have them already sized up, we can go ahead and delete that template guide. So you just come over here, select those four nodes and just delete them now we're going to animate them now again the animation is completely customizable however you want to do it we're just going to do it like we did at the beginning all right so first we're going to do the animation on the rectangles grab another rectangle hold shift until the line turns blue and drop it in now this one you want to make it subtract over here in the inspector so now it subtracts. Now you want to make it long and we're going to rotate it. You want to make it so it covers the whole thing. Now you're going to invert it. We're going to zoom out a little bit. So we're going to bring this off screen. 
And we're going to copy this rectangle and we're going to bring it over to the other one. Hold shift and drop it in there. All right, so now that we have both rectangles, we're going to go ahead and grab one. We'll grab the first one here. You want to add a keyframe on the center. Go ahead and add a keyframe on the other one. Then we're going to move forward to where you want it to come on. I'm going to go about 40 frames and then drag until it's uncovered. And then go over to this one, drag until it's uncovered. So now you should have something like this. I'm going to feather these out a little bit, these second rectangles, just to give it a softer edge when it's going over it. There we go. All right, so now we have our boxes coming in. Now we're going to fade in the ellipse. All right, so we want it to come in about right, about right there. We'll have it start fading in. So we'll go ahead and drop that to zero, hit a keyframe, move forward to when the boxes are full, go about 50, and then bring it all the way up. You can go ahead and remove the guides. So now all we got to do is add text. Now the text is also customizable. You can put whatever you want. I'm just going to go ahead and put one text for now. And we're just going to put watch next. We're going to move that underneath here. We're going to have that right on. We'll go about right, right here. We'll start the right on. So we'll put a keyframe at zero. And then we'll go forward a couple frames and then bring it on. So now you should have something like this. Again, it's completely customizable. This is just showing you a simple way to create your own and giving you a guide. All right, so once you have your video all edited and you have it ready in DaVinci Resolve, before you export, you wanna take that template, the end card that you made and put it at the end of your footage. So we're just gonna grab that. We're gonna slap it right at the end. All right, so now what you wanna do is you wanna export that. I'm not gonna go over any of the exporting settings if you want a video on that let me know so now we're gonna go over to youtube and show you how to input that all right so now that we're in our youtube channel you want to go ahead and go to add end scene you want to go to where your video comes in and you want to add element and we're going to add video and this one we're going to do specific video and we'll do the jump one now you can bring this in line it up now you're gonna grab another element you're gonna do the subscribe and you're just gonna grab that put that right in right in there and then whatever video you want we're just gonna go ahead and do a playlist and we'll do this one put it right in there so now you want to take your clips to where they come in All right, so that was the basic way to show you how to do a customization of an end card. Definitely play around with that. Create your own. Put them at the end of your channel. But if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe. And remember, keep creating.